I'm so excited. I'm going to meet someone very, very important. And this person is going to advise me. He promises to advise me. He promises to guide me. He promises to protect me. And I just need to listen, listen to his advice. So I'm gonna get ready now. And then I'm going to go meet this person. He's very important. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also excited. I, I just love hearing from him. Every time he speaks to me, I always find his advice and his guidance amazing. Come, I want you guys to meet him too. Can any of you guys guess who this important person is? The person is in here, yeah, the Bible. It's God. Every morning, I wake up excited to read my Bible and to listen to what God is saying to me. So the last couple of weeks, boys and girls, we've been talking about prayer. And that is us talking to God. But if we want to listen and hear who and what God wants us to, say, to do, we need to read our Bible. And we need to be excited to read our Bible, don't we? Because God has got so many promises in this, bump, in, this, in, this, in this book. And God tells us how much he loves us in this book. God gives us advice. God tells us and reminds us how much he loves us. And this is why we need to read our Bibles. And so when we read our Bibles, we need to be excited, boys and girls. We need to be excited and we need to also be mm, sometimes nervous because sometimes what God asks us to do it's very hard, but we have to listen. We have to listen and take the advice of what God is saying to us. Let me ask you a question. Say you are, list, you are a good soccer player. I love soccer, right? And you get an interview with one of the best footballers in the world. And you've got one hour to speak to them. Would you be nervous? Would you write down your questions? And would you take that footballers or whoever your mentor or your, the person you look up to gives you that advice, would you take it seriously? Or would you just say, Psh, what do you know? You're just the best footballer in the world. I'm not gonna listen to your advice. And that's the same. Yeah, boys and girls, cause we wouldn't do that. We would listen to that footballer or the rugby player because we want to be like them. We want to play like them and we want to be as strong as they are and we want to learn the tricks of how to get past players. And God is just like our coach. God is like our heavenly father. He wants to guide us. He wants to tell us what to do and how to do it. And how do we find out? How do we hear God's word? It's through the Bible. Now, boys and girls, how do I know that I can hear from God in the Bible? Well, let's find the scripture that will help us find out that answer. All right, and this scripture comes from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. And it reads like this. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So there, boys and girls, the Bible's already telling us in Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, that all scripture is God-breathed, which means every word that's in here has been inspired by God, and God wants us to know what he's saying to us through the scriptures, through the words that are in this Bible, which will advise us, which will warn us, which will encourage us, which will tell us that it loves us. And all of this is in the Bible. And this is how God speaks to us. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you understand that because it's so important for us to read our Bible and to read our Bible with excitement and to look and listen to what the Bible is saying to us. Okay, let us pray, boys and girls. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, that we have your word. Thank you, Lord, that we have the Bible in which we can come to 
to get advice, which we can come to to be guided by, and that that is how you speak to us. Help us, Lord, listen and hear you when we read our Bible. Help us, Lord, for our hearts to be excited to come to you and listen to you and hear what you want us to do. So this we pray, Lord, in your precious name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, remember, if you want to listen, you want to hear, you want to know what God wants to say to you, you find it in your Bible. And I do it personally in the mornings. So if you don't have enough time in the mornings because you're rushing to go to school, then just before you go to bed, read your Bible. Find out what God is saying to you. Listen to what God is giving you advice about. Okay, boys and girls, I'll see you again next week. Bye.